Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Taco Bell for breakfast, trying out their new breakfast items. They have a bunch of them, and I ordered every single one, and I ordered it on the app because I was cutting it close to 11, so I just wanted to place my order to make sure I got it. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Let's make it started for you. Hi, I have an online order for Stephanie. Gotcha. I'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So they have new bacon items out and these new cheesy tacos and a grilled cheese burrito taco with bacon. Mm. So super excited. And every Tuesday for the month of October, you can get a free toasted breakfast taco on the app. So I used one of my coupons for a free taco, but this is what I got. I got a steak and bacon grilled cheese burrito. I cannot wait to try Taco Bell's bacon. I got the breakfast sausage taco, the bacon taco, the potato taco, and then the breakfast box that comes with two Cinnabon delights. And then I chose the Cinnabon iced coffee and then a breakfast crunch wrap with sausage and a hash brown. I don't know how new that is, but I've never had it. So we got that as well. I've never had the sausage crunch wrap. So, it sounded really good. But how's everyone doing this morning? I am like business on the top and pajama pants on the bottom. These are my fuzzy pajama pants from Target. They're like the comfiest ever. And then I also have my pumpkin slippers on. I'll show you guys. They're like the comfiest slippers slash shoes ever. How are those so cute? I got them from the tech shop. I love them. I'm like debating on running into the store after this too. Because I feel like my outfit, it does look like an outfit. It just looks very festive. Because <laughs> I've been wearing my slippers outside. I know that's like not the point of slippers. But like I have to take the puppy outside so often and I'll be in my slippers. So I'm like, I'll just go outside in them. So they're technically shoes. <laughs> they're not slippers. They're only slippers if you wear them in the house. They're shoes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, that was supposed to be iced. It's iced. I just put it in the oh. cup. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, we're waiting on your hash brown. So if you want to pull around to the double doors, I'll bring it out when it's finished. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is an iced coffee? <laughs> Does it have ice in it? Doesn't sound like it. Oh, wait. Pull around to the double doors. Oh, over here. Oh, it's just iced coffee without the ice. Why does it have no ice in it? It's like sem semi-warm. That's a little, I okay. <laughs> if I was still at the window, I would like ask for a cup of ice, but. Hi. Thank you. New item. Okay, whoa, they hooked me up on the sauce. Look at that. <laughs> A ton of sauce. Holy. <laughs> I love how sometimes they just like really do that. And then sometimes you get like a few. Like it depends who's working, but that person gave me a ton. Okay, we have the new grilled cheese burrito with bacon in it. The crunch wrap, the Cinnabons of lights that come in. Oh, the, the hash brown. Um, the Cinnabons of lights that come in the box. I like need to have one of these. I've not had one in so long. That's seriously the best thing ever. <laughs> like, at my wedding, I think I'll want like a ton of those for dessert. Like a little Taco Bell truck for like late at night. How fun would that be? Okay, well let's just start trying these new tacos out. Here they are. And they're like only around like 220 calories. So not bad at all. Yum. Ignore my missing fingernail. So this one is the potato one. Let's take a look inside. Ooh. 
cheesy. And then let's try this one out with some fire sauce. They are like steaming hot too. I know people love the potato burritos and tacos from here. I never get them, so I'm excited to try this one out. Mmm. That is really good. I love their cheesy fiesta potatoes. I think they have like the best potatoes ever. So this is like perfect for breakfast too. The fire sauce is yummy. Mmm. It's really cheesy. That's really good. My first time having Taco Bell breakfast was once when I was late to high school and my dad was driving me because he'd go to work a little bit after when I would go to school. So I woke up late and then he took me and then he took me to Taco Bell breakfast before. Because if you're late, you might as well be a little bit a little bit more late. And my dad was always like so cool about and all of that kind of stuff. So he's like, yeah, sure. You want to talk about breakfast? <laughs> like, I love you. I miss you so much. This one's for you. Mmm. That's actually a really good size, too. That's tasty. Okay, let's try another one out. And I'm going to do the hot sauce. I think hot sauce is my favorite. The fire does have really good flavor, though. Okay, let's see what this one. So this one has the bacon in there. The bacon smells so good. I love the smell of bacon. Like bacon, ground beef, onions and garlic. Like I think those are the best smells cooking. Like isn't it the best when you like walk out of your hotel room and you can smell the breakfast buffet and you just smell bacon and like the waffle machine. I think that's like one of the most yummiest smells. And I think it's just like the vibe to it too. Like the smell goes with the vibe. Cause like you're at a hotel. I, I love hotels. I, I think it's so fun. Cause you're either on vacation or you're doing something. Mm. Okay. Bacon's pretty good. Kind of tastes like bacon bits. The bacon one adds a lot of flavor. I'm so drink I'm so confused why my ice drink is not over ice. Like this is like really weird. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go through and get a cup of ice or I'll just add ice when I go home because it just tastes like Luke like it tastes like warm coffee that's been like sitting out. <laughs> I don't know why that's like that. I like I really don't understand like how people drink iced coffee through one of those two, like without a straw. Like I cannot. Like I need a straw with my iced coffee. Okay, now let's try this sausage one. This one looks the best, honestly. Check this out. It's got big pieces of sausage in there. Ooh, this one looks really good. And sausage is my favorite breakfast item. So let's try that with some fire. Mm-hmm. We saved the best taco for last. That's so good. Let's try some mild sauce. Wait, don't they usually give you like salsa or something? Or is that McDonald's? Mm-hmm. Mm. This is my favorite one. Maybe I'll really like that crunch wrap too then. Yeah, this one is my favorite. I would for sure get this again if I'm coming to Taco Bell for breakfast. Mmm. Really good. But yeah, Starbucks, like they don't really give you a straw 
too much with your iced coffee now. Like, you have to ask for the straw. And I just, like, don't like it. Because, like, when you're sipping it, like, ice cubes will just, like, go down your throat. And I don't know. A straw is just so much better. If it's hot coffee or if it's, like, coffee with, like, a cold foam on top, then I get it. But other than that, I think it's, like, so weird drinking coffee without a straw if it's cold. Bacon grilled cheese burrito. Let's check this out. Ready to see what it looks like? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at all that cheesy bacon. My nails match the bacon. What color are your nails? Bacon color. Let's try this. I might keep it in the, eh, no, we can do it. Which side? Okay. I wanna get a new camera. I feel like it always like goes out of focus. Oh my God. Mm. Ooh, spicy. If I can find my phone, I'll tell you what, what's in this one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so inside this one is steak, potatoes, bacon, sour cream, nacho cheese, chipotle sauce, and cheese. That is some good stuff. The cheesy bacon outside is definitely making this burrito. And all the sauce in here. And the potato. That's so good. So what was your guys' like go-to breakfast item as a kid? I would always eat toast. Just toast no eggs my mom would make me like waffles for like first day of school or pancakes I'd get pancakes and stuff and bacon for like holidays or stuff like that but then I would eat toast and cereal but I'm telling you toast like every day with a ton of butter on it and I would probably eat like at least 10 slices and my mom would cut the crust off for me on every single slice I probably went through a loaf of bread a day I don't know how my mom like let me eat that many pieces of toast. I mean, I was hungry, but like I'm not kidding, I ate so many pieces. Like if I feel like if my kid wanted to eat a whole loaf of bread a day, I'd be like, I'm not buying a loaf of bread a day. <laughs> like you can have like three slices a day and have like an egg with it or so, like something like that, like some sides, an egg and yogurt. But I would seriously eat a loaf of bread a day. It was so good. I, like, remember my mom, like, just standing in the kitchen making it for me. And she'd use a pizza cutter to cut off all the crust. And I would, like, eat it. She'd be like, you want another one? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and I would just eat the whole loaf. Wow, look at the inside of this burrito. Look how saucy. Mmm. The bacon on here is amazing it's reminding me of like when you go to like outback or somewhere and get cheesy fries or like texas roadhouse cheese fries with the bacon on it and the bacon gets all like stuck in the cheese like that's kind of what this tastes like but just on a burrito which is really delicious it's not too greasy at all like i know sometimes people say like the grilled cheese one is like too much cheese but if you like cheese you would like this and I like this one more with the bacon on it. Mm. That one is so good. It doesn't even need sauce. They're hash brown. Have I had their hash brown? It looks like the Trader Joe's one. So hot. And wow, that is so yummy. It tastes like greasy and buttery. If anyone has any good camera recommendations, I 
I've had this camera for like six years. And I just feel like the focus is not the best. But I don't know. Should I go in Best Buy with my pajamas on? <laughs> I feel like that's like not a place I should go. Like if anything, I feel like I'd be very fitting to go inside of like Walmart with my slippers or like a drugstore, like somewhere like that. But Best Buy, I feel like is just so formal. <laughs> okay. Crunch wrap. Let's see how this is. Cause the crunch wraps are usually not my favorite. And I know they're lots of people's favorites. I'm like manhandling this thing. The hash brown in there gives it a good crisp. I think this one needs some sauce. I actually think I like the mild sauce flavor the best out of all three. Mmm. So there's a whole sausage patty in there. You can see. And it's very full. Like, it honestly looks just like the photo because I think they were getting in trouble for, like, something like that. People saying, like, their crunch wraps did not look like the photos. And it's very true. Their crunch wraps are usually so flat. That's why, like, they, I, like, did not like them. And I know lots of people would order that. And I'd be like, it looks flat. Like, there's nothing in it. This one has a lot in it, though. Mmm, yeah, the mild sauce is my favorite. Aw, you're cute. Thank you, Taco Bell. Thank you so much. <laughs> to be honest, it's good, but that's my least favorite. I would say it's my least favorite item out of everything. I really love that burrito and the little tacos. Oh, and we have another Cinnabon Delight. Where is it? Where is it? Here, you guys want to see the inside of it? Mm. Ready? Oh, that was a horrible squeeze. They're so good. Does anyone think Auntie Anne's tastes different now? Like, I used to get Auntie Anne's as a kid every time I went to the mall. Seriously, every time. Or Cinnabon. I loved Cinnabon. I still do. Cinnabon is really good. I usually get it when I go to the airport. Because my mall doesn't have Cinnabon anymore. They took it out. And they removed our Starbucks. Like, my mall really doesn't have, like, that much fun stuff. But I feel like Auntie Anne's just doesn't taste the same. Like, I actually don't really like it. Like, it's very doughy. I don't know. The last few times I've had it, it's just... It doesn't hit the same as it used to. But, oh my god, this worker is about to, like... He's, like, over by the dumpster. And he's about to, like, walk right at me. <laughs> I'm just having a feast. And I'm parked, like across the parking spots too because this was the best lighting there's like no one in this parking lot though but i'm like parked really weird <laughs> and you guys in the wing stop video when you guys are like she's so oblivious to like a guy flirting with her that guy was like 50 years old <laughs> like and i was just feeling a little bit awkward <laughs> and i was saying he was just being nice because i mean he was being nice and i blurred out his face Which, I don't know if I could say this. Because I don't want to get him in trouble. But he, like, went on the computer and, like, found my name and number from the my order. And then, like, called me and I answered because I thought it was a worker, like, a service worker that was at my house. So, I usually don't answer unknown phone numbers. But 
I answered because I thought it was a service worker that was at my house. So I answered. I'm like, hello. And he's like, Stephanie. I'm like, yeah, hi. And he's like, next time you come to Wingstop, like, let me know it's you and I'll give you free wings and fries. And I was like, how did you get my number? And he's like, oh, just in the system. It shows up. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Which, like, again, he was being, like, really nice. Like, just being nice, but... I was like, that's like a little bit like weird. As I was driving when I answered the phone, I was like, who is this? But I honestly just think he was being like extremely friendly. I mean, no, maybe he was like hitting on me. And I'm just like looking at it like, oh, he was just being nice because he was like older. But yeah, the, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I, I just think people are being nice, but then like, yeah, because like to get my number. Ha I haven't talked. I haven't heard from him since that, so it's not like he like continued to message me or something. But overall, these tacos really good, especially if you want something small. I think I like the sausage the best and then the potato the potato one is really really good with the mild sauce on it and then that grilled cheese burrito is just phenomenal with the bacon on it it reminds me of cheesy fries the crunch wraps good but I think it's just a little too dry like I always say that about them but if you like crunch wraps you'd probably like it it just doesn't have all that sauce and I love sauce so that's probably why I'm just a little iffy about it I think it's like dry because it does have a hash brown and potatoes in it so it's like lots of very dry stuff inside of two tortillas so but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below what new item you want me to try out next i know there's a ton and i cannot wait to try them out this week but i love you all so much thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye guys